just out at the campground and I am going to pick out the wood for the campfire. <laughs> There's Florence. She's always scaring me in the window. Um, so what I like to do is pick out our wood for the fire. Now we're not having a fire tonight. My sister's having a fire tonight with her friends, but I take great pride in this job. I look through the wood and I decide what pieces I think are gonna be good for the fire. This sounds crazy, I know, but I actually love doing this. I actually, I'll be like, okay. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, definitely this, this, probably this, a few of those ones. Then I just lay it all around the campfire like that and it dries in the sun all day and it's all set to go for the evening. So I hope my sister has a good bonfire with her friends. Like I, like literally I was like, okay, I know these pieces are gonna burn really good. Some of these are gonna burn really long. So it's a whole thing. Back home, uh, we just heard on the radio on the way home from the campground that we got three new positive cases of COVID-19 here on Prince Edward Island. This is our first time getting any cases in the last two months. We've had no cases. So it's kind of, it kind of feels like a punch to the gut. Like, oh, I'll be the first to admit, like I was getting used to life being normal. Like there's still restrictions in place everywhere, but like, not necessarily keeping six feet away from people that are in my immediate like bubble or circle or whatever like even camping like just like talking to a neighbor but like not necessarily being six feet apart and it's a great reminder to be like it's still real it's still out there oh I think a lot of us that live in Prince Edward Island are kind of feeling the same way because I think a lot of us have let our guard down. Definitely not all of us for sure, but I know I've let my guard down a bit. So it's a good reminder and I just hope everyone is healthy and recovers and oh, you guys, it's still such strange times. Anyway, so they announced not too long ago that school was going back in September. September 8th to be exact and I am really looking forward to that. I'll be the first to admit I am such a good mom. I am a really good mom and I know that. I know that's a huge strength of mine. Like nobody can tell me otherwise. Like I know that I'm a good mom but <laughs> I am not a good homeschooling mom I'm not a good like teacher like I use that lightly because I like I am not good at that when we were doing the home distance learning that tested me and I it's not my strength but to be fair I've never had to do that before I never thought I would have to do that I'm glad they're going back in September I love my kids I'm I feel my best when they are home with me and I enjoy the summers and well I mean we've already been March, April, May, June like we've already been home like four months together. I've I enjoy it. I no complaints. But I do not like being responsible for their education. It's just I'm not good at that. I'm not I'm not a good homeschooling mom at all. So anyway, let me know if you guys are good at that stuff. I'm just I feel like my patience isn't there and I feel stupid <laughs> like especially with like Florence's stuff because she's in a higher grade and I'm like I have no idea but anyway it's strange times we're all we're all figuring this out it's the next day <laughs> Um, so we just found out we have two more cases of COVID-19 so we're up to five which is like nowhere near to what, like I know a lot of people are experiencing where they live, but still sucks, uh, still puts things in perspective, so that's good. But in other news, I think I have come to like a revelation with sugar. <laughs> I used to eat a lot of sugar and I have eliminated it tremendously from my diet 
but when I eat it, I get headaches. I've noticed that like a year ago. Like if I have sugar, I will immediately get a headache within like the next day I'll get a headache. But I'm one thing I've also noticed, I literally put two and two together last night. When I eat sugar, I also have trouble sleeping. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm putting two and two together. I've been keeping track of it. The times where I have like, an, like not like sugar, like from fruit and stuff, but like sugar, like cake or like s'mores, like eat sugar. I struggle to get to sleep. I wonder if that's a thing. When I do not have the sugar and I'm eating healthy, I sleep so good. I've been finding it a little bit hard to get myself back on track with my eating and even drinking water and just all of that. So I think today's Sunday. I've been, I, I mean, I've done fine all day today. So I mean, I guess today is like technically like back on track day, but I think tomorrow I'm, you know, something about a Monday, but like I'm really, really going to put effort into getting myself back to where I was before the summer. Not like weight wise and stuff, but just like organized. Like I was so organized with food, like I for gro even groceries and, and meals. Like I knew what I was going to have the whole week like in advance. And now I have no idea. And then that leaves me scrambling, which then I tend to make bad decisions. And you guys know, I mean, it's such a journey. It is such a journey. So I need to sort that out. <laughs> I don't know. I might get groceries tonight or tomorrow, but let me know if you guys are interested in like grocery hauls. I used to do those way back in the day, like six years ago, back in the day. I haven't done one in a long time, but let me know if that's something you might want to see. I don't know. I never know what to buy. Ah, oh, I should start watching some grocery hauls and get some ideas from you guys. I got some of these cloth masks at Old Navy. Actually, my sister got them for us. She bought a bunch of them. Um, it comes in a pack of five, but I'm back to taking COVID very seriously. It's kind of embarrassing that I did let my guard down, but I, I can admit it. I truly thought like it was gone because we never had a case here for two months and there's this one. I have a couple of them. It's kind of crazy that it's coming back. They said it would, but part of me was like, no, oh, well, I don't know. I, ah, <sighs> anyway, so I'm going to be extra, extra cautious again, because like I was going in stores without masks. I always did the hand thing, like washing my hands really good. Like that's always a thing. And I think that's something that's going to really stick with me forever. Like as soon as I get out of a store, I'm like, and before I go in store and like when I get home, like it's just like such habit now, but the face mask thing wasn't happening. And even like just not paying attention to if I'm six foot apart from someone I'm speaking to, like, yeah, it's an eye opener. I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to work on getting myself back on track. Like I said, tomorrow, maybe I'll document it. I don't know. People seem to like it. And I think it's helpful to have someone else going through it too, because even though I've lost 75 pounds and I'm, I do well, like I, I'm doing well with it, I still struggle and I still revert to old habits and can recognize when things aren't going great. So I just, the thing is, is like, I feel so much better when I'm eating healthy and all that. Like I just, I just feel so much better. So especially right now when I'm, who knows what's going to happen now that we have all like more cases and stuff again. I'm going to need to be mentally strong. <laughs> that is it for me. But uh, thank you so much for listening, you guys. I've been really enjoying like picking up the camera and just like speaking to you guys. It's been nice. So anyway, I'm going to end the video here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.